In this video, you will learn how to make a driver for IC6150 communication. So for this demo, I will use one simulator made by Infotech. And this simulator have three value for the three phase. So this is the value for the current I, L1, 2 and 3. So phase 1, P, C. And I have a value 17, 28, 25. I can just change the value. Also, I have the breaker position. So I can open and close. So in this demo, we will learn how to read this three value, how to read the breaker position, and how to send a comment to the breaker position. So in my project, I will insert one driver and I will choose this file, IC6150 DLL. Then here is a driver setting. So I have to insert my device in this table. I have two ways for this. In case that you have one real relay. First, you will have to create the dataset by choosing the correct tag you want to include in your dataset. Then you generate the ICD file and you can load the ICD file in these windows. This way you will be able to browse the tag offline. If you don't have ICD file, in my case I don't have the ICD file, then you have to write here the correct server name and the correct IP address. In my case the simulator used the default value, which is already these two values, so I only have to press add. If you use the real device, you have to check the documentation to see if you need to use one of these settings. The most important here also, if you want to browse the tag offline, is to set the correct path for the LD file. This folder needs to exist in your computer. Then also other you need to check your requirements, your documentation to see if you need to have these settings. For example, here we have no LD database scan. You can disable the scan for the LD. Okay, so back to this I have my server name ready and IP address ready so I just can press OK. Then I have the tag brother and I can scan directly here my device tag and I can import all of them by pressing the left click and dragging here to the current project tag and I can have all my device tag are closed and then I have all my tag here. I can check now, if the communication is OK, in my dataset, I have the measurement for the three phase. So I can just expand the tag and I can activate my driver. Then I have the value 17, 11, 25, which is the same value I have here. If I can change here, it changes there and also there. So, this is how I can read the value for the three-phase current. Then, if I want to check the breaker position, also inside my dataset, I can check object 1 CS1W, and then here I have the value 1. 1 should be for the breaker close. If I open, the value is 2. So, 1 and 2. So how to send comment to my relay? Here outside the dataset, I can check the object 1 CS1. Inside I have this, which is to send comment. Also here, I have the tag for the position, which is the same as the one you will have in inside the dataset. 
just have the same value. So this is just a regular structure for the IC150 to have the CO to send command ST to read the status. This tag can be also inside the dataset. So how to send a comment? Here in CO, I have one block called position and I have one which is a position status. So I send command with these tags and I can read the feedback from my relay in this two stack. So if my relay have SBO mode select before operate, here I will write select. Then I can send the value from open or close, which is usually zero or one. So I will try to send a common zero and select to see what happened. I write block and nothing happened because here in position status, I have the code 217, command not supported. So the select doesn't work for this device. So I just can write directly operate. If I write operate, so my breaker now is just open. Then if I just write block, position block, then my command is accepted. The value is five. It means that everything is fine. The relay receives the command, but my breaker is still open because actually zero is the command to open. If I want to close, I write one and I just write again, then my breaker is closed. The value is one. If I want to operate and read the value on screen, in my screen here, I have to insert maybe three display and I will insert one display here for the breaker position and I will create two button, one for open and one for close. So this one will be for open, this one is for close. So first I will link my display to my driver tag for the measurement inside my dataset measurement. So this is the value for the phase A. Then this one is for the phase B. And the last one here is for the phase C. Also here, it will be my breaker position. So I will choose inside my dataset. In my inside my dataset, I have object one, the value for the position. So if I check carefully again, the value in my driver, so close is one, open is two. So here I can make a table close is one and two, it's open. And here I need to write a script to open. So here I will choose, in my device, I will choose the object one, then CO, post, then first is operation value, which is operate, then I will just send the value 
on value here which is zero and then I can write the block POS I can write my block just directly and I will copy this script to the button close and I only have to change the value to one then if I run my program the breaker is open then I close breaker is closed I open if I check again here my breaker is open I close then here I have 23, 11, 25 I can change the value and the value change on screen as well then the breaker status I can open or close so it's the same thing if I open or close so this is how you can configure in E3 the driver for the IC 61850.